Hey everybody, welcome to In the Pit, episode 7. As you can see, I am by myself doing In the Pit. Coach Clarity is on vacation, as we are on vacation. But, I'm going to do this by myself and uh, talk to myself, I guess. But this is Coach Dusty Purdue at Glenwood School. Going to do In the Pit without Coach Clarity and hope he comes back because I missed my sidekick. Um, want to do a review of several games since we were on last and just go a little bit one at a time on them uh, to catch you up on the season. Then hopefully Tommy will be back and uh, we can talk about the rest of the season when that comes around. Um, we played Lakeside the last time uh, we were on in the pit. We got beat here at home by Lakeside by seven points. Uh, they made more free throws than we did. We've got to get better at the free throw line. It was a very good back and forth game the whole game. Uh, we ended up losing that game here at home, and uh, we don't like to lose at home for sure. We don't like to lose at all, but losing at home is big. So we'll get to play them again in January and hopefully have a better outcome down there. Then we played Ezekiel on a Saturday. Uh, we went over there and took care of business against Ezekiel over in Montgomery. Played really, really well. Everybody got to play, and I think everybody scored. Then we played Wiregrass right before Christmas break here at home against a good Wiregrass team out of Dothan, Alabama. Played really, really good. Uh, it was a good hard fall game going into Christmas break, and we ended up winning that one here at the pit. Then we went on our Tennessee trip to Gatlinburg. Played in Rogersville, Tennessee. Stayed in Gatlinburg or the Sevierville area. Played Cherokee High School out of Rogersville. That was the host school and didn't play very well at all. I think we forgot we were going to play basketball and we were on vacation but didn't play very good and ended up losing big against Cherokee. The next night we played South Green High School out of Green County right there in Greenville, uh, Tennessee. Uh, played really good first half, was up at the half against them and ended up losing uh, by about nine, I think, at the end of the game. Uh, didn't play well in the third quarter uh, at all. Uh, played a decent fourth quarter, but just couldn't finish. And then we ended up our trip against West Green out of Greenville High School. It's the, Green County in Tennessee is the largest county in the state of Tennessee. They have multiple high schools up there. They have a West Green. And we ended up winning that game by 11 or 12 up there. So we finished our trip on a high note, played really well that last day. And, uh, you know. Had a little break right before Border Wars and had Merry Christmas for everybody. And then came back from Border Wars and on Friday played Deerfield Windsor. Came out, played unbelievable in the first half. We were up 32-8 to at the end of the first quarter. Came out of the locker room ready to play. I was really proud of the guys, the way they played. Uh, really excited about the way we played that game and finished. Next night, same thing. Came out against Westwood for Border Wars. Had a great first half, played really, really good, played great man-to-man -man defense. I was really proud of my team. Both games, uh, Border Wars, we won. Very excited about that going into 2020.
So right now our record is 12 and 5 on the season, getting ready for our second part of the season when it really counts in January and February, trying to get to the state tournament. Um, middle school and JV have been off, but JV will be back in action this week, so we'll get a chance to be back with them. We had our first practice back this morning, uh, excited about the chance to get back with them and get their season rolling along. Um, alumni Spotlight. I want to mention two guys in our alumni spotlight this time. Lawson Humphreys, who's Coach Humphreys' son that played for me here at Glenwood. I saw him grow up. Lawson has graduated from Georgia Southern, pitched at Georgia Southern, the baseball, uh, played for them over there, and has graduated uh, his uh, bachelor's degree, but he's doing a graduate uh, degree also. So he's a graduate assistant for Georgia Southern baseball this year, so that's where he's at doing great things over there, very proud of him. He won a state championship while he was here, and I'm proud of Lawson. The other one is Jalen Thomas, JT Thomas, who's still in school, playing at Columbus State as their shooting guard and point guard, and doing a great job for Robert Moore over at Columbus State. Just so proud of Jalen. He's stuck in there. He's gonna end up getting his business degree in May. Uh, he's had a couple of injuries, but he's come back every time, and he's turned himself around. He's playing really well for Robert over there, and I'm very proud of JT and, and, and the path he's gone down. So Lawson Humphreys and JT Thomas are our Spotlight Players of the Week, um, alumni, excuse me, and I'm very excited about where they're going in their life. Games coming up this Thursday. We're on the road at Macon East, JV and Varsity. We'll start at 1 o'clock on Thursday at Macon East Academy. That's 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. JV and Varsity, boys and girls. And then on Saturday, we're at Southland. We go to Americas to play Southland Academy. Coach Rundy Foster does a great job over there. Looking forward to some four great games at Southland. We'll start at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time at Southland. So just excited about our basketball season and where we're at right now. Excited about getting into January uh, to get ready for our region and uh, get a chance to go to the state tournament. And uh, I miss you, Tommy Clarity. Hope you come back really, really soon. But that's just a, a, a quick overview of where we're at in our season right now. You've been in the pit with Coach Dusty Purdue, and I hope to see you soon. And uh, leave some comments. If you're watching this and you – and uh, you like what we're saying and you want us to change some things, let us know. But I enjoy doing this. Tommy enjoys doing this. And we just want to throw our basketball program out there and give everybody a chance to know that we're really proud of these kids and what they're doing and can't say enough about them. So this is In the Pit with Coach Dusty Purdue. Hope to see you again soon.